ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to Empires of the Undergrowth. Last time we were here, we started playing as these new ants, the Metabile or Metabile or whatever the hell they're called. Uh, these long black ants. And our target is these larvae, the or these, uh, I'm sorry, but few have termites. Something has them oh, god damn it. We're gonna deal with that big guy again now. I just, I don't have a force to deal with it just yet. Uh, so right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to gather what food I can from these termites. The play that we're supposed to do is we're supposed to go ahead and harass the termites. We're supposed to drain them down as much as possible, weaken their population, probably even damn near get to the point of like nearly wiping them out, but then back off, let them resupply, and then come back later and harass them a little bit more. Tremors can be felt from within the nest. Oh my god. There's a creature on the move, and it's getting closer. Does it have to? Can it like wait till tomorrow? Or the day after, please? Anyway, as always, if you lads finally enjoy this channel, content, or my general goofiness, any engagements you guys leave helps this channel to grow. Likes, dislikes, hitting that bell icon and leaving comments all help with the channel tremendously. Helps us get out to new users and allows for us to, you know, not die to YouTube. But anyway, um, if you haven't done so already, feel free to join our Discord link in the description below. But right now, things are not going well. We don't really have enough food to resupply our population. There is not and that sun spider is just going to be a consistent pain in my rectum. Oh, it, it's just heading straight for my house. It doesn't give a crap. It so it knocks out my guys. A fully grown sun God spider, damn it. Zaria Kieserlingi, has found the nest. She's looking for a burrow to lay her eggs. And yeah, I'm going to try to get my guys to retreat. Spot. Unable to fit through the entrance, she'll need to dig her way in. This could be disastrous for the colony. It could be. It is. This goddamn thing won't leave. The sun spider yes, please. has bulldozed through the nest entrance and into the tunnels. She must please, be kill stopped. Please, kill it. Kill it. Kill it. It's breaking everything. Just kill the damn thing. Oh, please, for the love of God. Yes! It is finished. The sun spider was finally bested by the ants. Oh, my but God. Before decimating the nest. The cavern she left in her wake is now likely to attract even larger creatures. The colony had better be prepared. God damn it. If by some chance I could have cut her off, I could have probably stopped her from getting into the nest. Which would have saved us a lot of grief. But now, things like lizards and whatnot can just waddle right in. Great. That is just what I needed. Oh, we also still have no food. Um, I really hope these guys just screw off so I could collect those bodies. But they're like, nah, nah, we know what you're up to. We know what's up. I think either that or they're waiting for the last couple of uh, termites to gather their little wood pellets and leave. You know what we're going to do? We're going to order our guys to hold here. And then hopefully those guys will just screw off. Which it does not seem like they will, so we're just going to order an assault. With the sun spider threat eliminated, the Matabili have an opportunity to raid freely while the termites are active. They should make the most of it while they can. I'm just hoping that my ants are smart enough to go ahead and start grabbing the dead bodies. Like that, exactly. That's what. It, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to hang out right here. And as the termites come back, we're just going to murder them. There we go. Now... I had said this before, I'll say this again, I've said this on a couple of other videos, um, if you guys do like my channel, if you enjoy hearing my stupid crap and you just want to help out the channel, which I do appreciate the help and I appreciate your support, but if you want to help me out, the best thing you guys can do to really help is leaving likes and dislikes, bell icon, and even just shoot me a message on comments. Uh, those all help a lot more than subscriptions. Subscriptions are awesome and I do appreciate them and I appreciate you guys joining our community, but Likes and dislikes are the best way to really help the channel because YouTube's algorithm does not really recognize likes, I'm sorry, does not recognize subscriptions as much as they used to anymore. Uh, YouTube doesn't, I hate to say, but YouTube just doesn't really care about subscriptions. Uh, what it really looks for is likes and dislikes. Likes, dislikes, what that does is it encourages YouTube. It tells YouTube, hey, I like this content creator, I like this video, and I want to see more from that. If you just subscribe, it's kind of like just bookmarking my channel. Again, it helps, it's nice, but it's not as potent as likes and dislikes. So, if you could, even if you think I'm an idiot and you want to leave me a dislike, that's cool too. I'm good with that. But just some kind of engagement 
that's that's what's got to happen in order for you know YouTube to recognize my channel. Uh, YouTube needs to see that. So if you guys do leave likes and dislikes, I really do appreciate your help. Um, and also, I mean, liking and disliking that will encourage YouTube to go ahead and show you guys when I'm live. Because I do live stream. Usually when I live stream, I live stream Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 10 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Um, lately, like, I used to stream on Thursdays. I might go back to Thursdays at some point in the near Colony future. I, I just not backed food, off of Thursdays because food. I was busy with school. And that's why. Alright, I gotta get... Speaking of backing off, I gotta get these guys to hold... Let the termites screw off, and then we'll grab more of their friends. But yeah, I uh, backed off of streaming because I just needed time for school, and I finished my classes. Now I actually have to take my HVAC test, and the test isn't until July 25th. I don't know when this video is going to release. Um, I might have already taken my test by the time you guys watch this video. I honestly don't know. Uh, I don't even know... How far did I get my videos? I don't even think my YouTube app will tell me. We'll see. Well, I'll tell you guys right now. I am up to... July 3rd. It's June 29th. Oh, I gotta get back to uploading. Oh, crap. Okay. Um... So, I probably have till, at the moment... Like, July 14th worth of videos? Probably as many videos as I have at the moment. So, with that said, yeah, uh, I haven't, at this point when this video releases, I haven't taken the HVAC test yet, or I should not have taken it yet, um, but, yeah, that's why I stopped streaming on Thursdays. I might go back to streaming Thursdays sometime soon, which is, when HVAC is done, I'll get back to it. I will get back to it come, you know, come completion of HVAC. Once I actually pass my test and get my engineer license, I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, but right now, I just can't because I really need to focus on on this test. It is a beast. It's about a, it can be anywhere from 120 to 200 questions. I have four hours to complete it. Um, from what I'm being told, it is a beast of a test, and I really, really need to pass it. Especially considering the fact it's a $225 a shot test. So I really need to pass. But we'll see how that goes. Um... Man, that's a big lizard. Bigger than the other ones. Yeah, I thought it was bigger. Holy crap. Anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's what's been going on, at least with the channel. Uh, I'm having a major mental block, and I apologize. But yes, Mondays, Thursdays, and Friday. Well, Thurs Fridays and Saturdays and Mondays, I stream 10 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Sometimes I'll go earlier if, uh, if I'm streaming with friends. But usually that's my clock. Um... If you guys haven't done so already and want to, the Discord is open to the public, so feel free to pop in and say hey. Uh, generally, we're a bunch of nerds, so just feel free to pop in, say hey, and join us. Uh, also, if you have any questions in regards to anything I've done on this video. So, say, for example, you've seen my emulation videos and you don't know how I've done it, but you want to learn emulation. Pop into the Discord and say hey, I got some questions, I've got answers for you. Uh, if I don't answer, someone else will. So... Because that's the general idea of our community, is basically just nerds helping nerds. On top of that, I am trying to hopefully get us more PC players to join, because when we do community events and community nights, I would love to have more people join us for Death Toll and other PC games. Uh, what I try to do is, I try to get, like, everybody to download free-to-play games. Themselves. So then that way... Everyone can join. It's not a matter of worrying about ownership or anything like that. Like, you know, you don't have to worry about owning a game that everyone else has to play with us. Uh, you could just download it and join. So, like, Operation Harsh Doorstep. Uh, like I said, Death Toll. Uh, what other free-to-play games are there? Like, there's a bunch of, like, oh, oh, um, we have a clan for... Oh, what's that game? I'm, I, have, I hate that I forget it. Um, Planet Side 2. We have a clan that I want to actually get active with for Planet Side 2. Up their activities. The Matabili should seize this opportunity before the nocturnal predators are too numerous. Okay, I don't know. Oh, I think we've mostly wiped out this hive, and I don't really want to wipe it out further. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get our guys to back off. What I would love to do is draw those termites in after us and then kill them, but that is a disgusting termite. What the hell is that thing? That is gross. Hold on, let's see if I can get a... 
better image of this thing. I, I've learned. I finally learned how to use the camera. Oh god. That is gross. Ew. I would love it if these guys would just kill these termites so we could eat them. Alright, but at this point, these guys... No, 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 no. Don't go for the queen. Don't go for the queen. Don't go for the queen. Do not go for the queen. Oh, they're going for the queen like assholes. Alright, well, now they're just stupid. Alright, I'm going to order these guys to back off and go for this termite hive now because we don't want to wipe them out. We're not trying to wipe them out. We need food. And my ants are stupid enough to keep harassing them. What I really wanted to do was just, like, I wanted to wipe out most of the, the workers. And then just, like, have them at, like, the near point of the- Hey, we killed it, I think. Nope, we we're just we're beating it up. Oh my god, guys, just leave it alone. Let it run away. I think we just killed it. Oh my god, they actually killed that beast. Anyway. Um, but yeah, feel free to join our Discord, link in the description. Um, but anyway, yeah, so our goal, we're going to just try to focus on building up our food store. It's really the goal. Our guys are, oh, god damn it. They have food, but these friggin' termites are gonna stop us. See, the pro the termites are actually a formidable force when in large numbers. So they're only a really a problem when they're in a larger group. Like, exactly like that. That's, that's why they're a problem. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna order our guys to hold here. And hopefully these termites will just bug off and we'll go ahead and we'll grab their dead and then we'll hopefully run that saying of course if the dead termites don't despawn and i'm really hoping these guys just screw off that's really what i'm hoping for i'm also hoping that if we build up a large of enough force here that these guys will maybe overpower them maybe who knows i also have no food so i, I kind of desperately need them to kind of screw off like i really need them to screw off like bad because now these guys are playing guard. Because they know, like, alright, now there, there were uh, Metabili ants nearby. They were just screwing with us. We're standing guard. So, yeah, they'll hang out for a while until they think it's safe. I don't know, wh where are you guys going? Why are you leaving? Oh, these ants are stupid. Alright, go, go. Go in now. We need food. The second, yeah, the yeah, second we show up, more of these bigger guys the are going to show up. Watch. I could also start doing some upgrades too. Is there any way I can order them to not? Oh, actually, the workers I could. Um... Yeah, let's order them to the not attack. The nest entrance is unlikely to go unnoticed for long. The Matabili should stand guard. There will be invaders tonight. Oh, of course there will be. Oh my God! Another sun spider, son of a duck. Oh my god, there's another one. Why? Why? Why do you exist? What hell did you spawn out of? What demon of hell created you, you monster? You horrendous demon. Whatever demon created you, they didn't know whether they wanted to make a scorpion or a spider. Instead, they made you. Oh my god. What the hell is that now? What are you? Why? Why are you? What the hell is that thing? The battle has begun. Oh my god. Why? My my question An African giant centipede Etmostigmus it trigonopodus approaches the nest. Searching for a good ambush spot, it wasn't expecting to find an ant colony, but now irritated and hungry, it confronts the soldiers. 
Despite its great size, rows of segmented armor plates allow it to It's going straight for my hive. It's going straight for my It went straight for the hive. God damn it, it's going for the hive. Oh, and it's gonna break through everything, because of course it is. Because what you know. I've learned centipedes are shitty house guests. Look, I don't come to your house and mess up your place. Don't come to my house and make a mess. God and you're just gonna plow straight through. You're gonna get all irritated and you break more of my house. Great, thank you. Thank you, I, I appreciate that. Oh, and you're gonna you're not even gonna finish your food. You just bite him and spit him out. You jerk. There we go, he's dead. The giant centipede is dead. A lesser colony would have surely fallen to the monster. Although the Matabili Queen has survived, the undergrowth remains perilous. The ants should clear the carcass and replenish quickly. So... Could we consider this, like, takeout? I like ordering a pizza. Instead, you have to kill your pizza. I still wonder if we hit stop that sun spider, would another wasp plow through? Oh my god, is, there no, is that other sun... Don't come near my house. Don't come near my goddamn house. Stay the hell away from my damn house. I'm watching you. I'm watching you, you big son of a mother uncle. I'm watching. Give me an excuse. Give me an excuse. I will slap you so goddamn hard. Night is over, and the raiding window opens once again. Alright, so big bad guys are sh leaving. They're not gonna be a problem anymore. So I'll start getting my guys ready to raid. Man, you guys are still standing guard? Come on. Ah, uh, it just sucks that that friggin' spider turned my ant hive into a friggin' garage door practically. The ants will fight. What are you fighting death. now? Oh my god, you aggressive little bastards! Just go kill something. Go kill something that I need you to kill. Something you can eat. I mean, I guess they've been killing things they can eat, I guess, but I don't know. It's just annoying, man. Alright, so there we go. We're looting up here. They come. You know, let's pull our guys back a bit before they engage. Ah, uh, they're already engaged. God damn it. I want to pull them out here so that way they're they're dead. Or down here and I can start looting them a little bit better. No, you guys are going to fight up there. Of course you are. Alright. Send everybody in. Hopefully they'll be able to reinforce fast enough. Because that seems like it's the biggest problem, the reinforcement. We're not gathering enough food, and as these guys die, it... They, I don't know, they, they just run out of bodies. Oh my god, dude. Let's order them to hang out here while they resupply. Like, I don't even know how many termites these guys have, like termite soldiers. I could go harass this hive. They shouldn't be too strong. At least I wouldn't think so. Granted, I'm bullying these guys right now, so. We did gather some food from them, I guess. But if we fight them right there, that might be a little bit more advantageous. It also seems like their AI isn't that smart. Granted, most of the AI in this game isn't that smart, given certain distances. If I just tell my workers to not fight, I think that turns them off. Attack creatures they see. Well, we don't want them to see creatures. Alright, whatever. Our workers aren't even... Alright, whatever. There should probably be another squad coming out. Yeah, a couple of them, actually. See how many more of them are showing up. Whole platoon. Okay. Yeah, you guys should probably bug out. I, you know, iron, irony is what I said. Um. Yeah. 
I want this group to rebuild a bit, and then we'll send in another strike force. Rainbow lizards are beginning to arrive. The Matabili would do well to keep them in check. I don't particularly care about the uh, rainbow lizards. They don't really bother me too much. They tend to stay away from my hive. So long as they don't try to come into my house, I'm good. That's my only concern. So long as they stay the hell away from my little, my little hut, I'm good. I'm not trying to agitate the or my warriors just yet. Okay. They're not agitated just yet. At least it doesn't. Oh, there they are. There they are. They're pissed. Oh, they're angry. Um. All right. Send them in. The battle has begun. Begun? It's been ongoing. It hasn't started. Can't begin something that's already been going. I think we... I think at this point we've broken them a bit. I think their numbers have kind of dwindled. I mean, granted, I'm coming at them with what? About, say, 40, about 50 ants. So we should be able to overpower them for the most part. Yeah, this hive is done. There's really not many of them left, so... We could probably leave these guys alone now. Uh, maybe, maybe. I mean, they're still producing more, but it's to the point where we may just be able to overpower them. So, yeah. Also, I haven't had a major... Oh, son of a mother. Really? Of course, there's one in my trail. Oh, look, and he's got a friend. And you're gonna, you know... My ants are just gonna rodeo their way out of here. Great. Great. All right, we killed it. The sun has almost set, the sand has cooled, and the termites resume their harvest. Right, so they have their soldiers coming out again. My guys should be coming in force. But I don't think there's really many of them left. It looks like they're bringing out some smaller ones too. I don't think... Uh, I might be talking. I might be talking more than I'm actually doing anything. But it does seem like we may be able to overpower them. You know, just for kicks, let's send in our workers. As for the other three squads, we'll have them go harass these guys down here. Where do they intersect? Right here. And what are our workers doing? I mean, there's a bunch of workers. Where are my ants? There they are. Let's send in squad two. You know what we'll do? We'll send in squad two and just have them attack their workers. We'll drain them down as much as we can. And again, we're just using them as food. There we go, squad two is finally rolling in. So literally this whole mission is just survive two nights. That's it. So I may get like two videos out of this. All right, so there's a new boss coming. Oh, a goddamn scorpion, of course. Of course. Well, after dealing with a 
hermit crab scorpion. Uh, I don't really think I'm afraid of anything else. It is here. Pandinus Imperator, the Emperor Scorpion. Growing to 20 centimeters in length, this true titan of the undergrowth dwarfs almost anything that crosses its path. With bulging pedipalps, equally effective for digging up insects and... I like how I just kind of shut that guy up. It's actually kind of a cool image, I'm not going to lie. Sex and tearing them apart. This encounter could mean extinction for the colony. Uh, hey guys, you want to you get on defending? Get it before it gets into the hive, please? 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 Please, kill it. Please. There we go. We're, uh, how's it health? Oh my god, it just... I don't think an actual Emperor Scorpion can push away ants like that. Like, I believe it can definitely hold its own against, you know, in a fight against a bunch of ants. But I don't think it would knock them away. God damn it, he's going in. Ah, son of a mother. Kill it, please. Kill it. It's halfway. Kill it. There we go. Come on. Come on, a little more, a little more, a little more. Keep going. I think it actually knocked a few of my ants out of the nest altogether. Okay, can somebody please kill this damn thing before it gets... Oh my god, look, it's just, it's just burrowing. It's not even digging, it's just bulldozing. Oh my god, come on. We still have some food so we can resupply, so that's not, I'm not too worried about that. I'm just worried about this damn thing getting to my queen. We got it. Oh, thank god, we got it. And we're actually almost out of food. Oh wait, did we- Even that's it? Even as wave after wave of soldiers were crushed, the Matabili would not relent. The fiercest raiders mounted the beast whilst maimed defenders sliced at its joints. Finally, the Emperor Scorpion fell. Having bested the three titans, the message to the Savannah Arthropods is clear. Confronting the Matabili in their home will only end one way. Absolutely. The only way it's going to end is with me kicking your rear end. Alright, so now we can work on our formicarium. I don't know if we're going to hear anything new from our scientist friends who are probably mentally unstable and a little weird with their ants. Why are there footprints on my chair? That's it. Um, okay. So let's get the fire ant. That's one of those big guys. That's another one of the, my snipers. And then those are my workers. Alright, so... those guys to start collecting food i don't think we really have any food we do actually have some food but not nothing worthwhile um so weirdly enough after everything went the way it did we ended up save you know saving our colony uh so we're gonna confirm that for the 90 100 we have 160 left so let's try to build this guys up a little bit try to get them a little bit more comparable to the rest of the hive and confirm there we go okay cool so at this point, my ants are, like, like in terms of perks and whatnot, they're maxed out. So there's nothing more I can really do with them other than just upping their skills. Uh, what I could also do on the side is I could probably do these two. I mean, I can always go back and then play these as challenges, too. So I could play these over and over again if I really want to. I don't know if any of my upgrades actually carry over into those levels or not. That I have no idea. So your guess is about as honestly as good as mine. Now, just for kicks, I'm, I, I'm curious... Yeah, we can actually go for the real final experiment. I could probably skip everything and just go straight for that if I really wanted to. But this hive, there's no way in hell it would survive. I can almost, without a doubt, guarantee you, my ants will die. That's a thousand percent. Um, but now we have all of our ant species together. We have our medics. We have all these guys together. Um, now it's just a matter of building out the dens that I want to build. So, with that said, I gotta figure out exactly how I'm gonna do the diggins. 
and get these guys where I want them to be. Um, hmm. Yeah, I got to figure this all out. But anyway, I think that's about where we're going to leave this one for for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. As always, if you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy my content, or you just enjoy my goofy crap, any engagements you guys leave helps this channel to grow and get to new users. Likes, dislikes, bell icon, comments are great ways of helping with us with YouTube and its ever-growing irritation that is its policies. Uh, if you haven't done so already, feel free to join the Discord. Link in the description below. Uh, other than that, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you everyone so much. You guys are all awesome. Have a fantastic night. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some progress here. And I'll figure it out from... Oh, wait. No, we don't want to do that. I'm an idiot. I almost goofed. Um, I'm going to figure things out little by little. I'm probably going to go ahead, do another video with another level. But I want to try to start getting other populations like these guys. The meta be The May Maybills? Whatever these guys are called. I don't know what the hell these damn things are called. But... Trying to get the other ants together, so we're going to figure that out. But anyway, I will see you all on the next one. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. See you on the next one, guys. Later. What's this? Oh, wait. Notes on continued experiments. Hold on. Solenopsis Invicta, Megapanera Anaris. He wanted to integrate Matabili DNA into one of the Erector colonies. Completely reckless. Um, okay, that happened. Uh, so yeah, there we go. I was, I, I thought there was gonna be more story to that, but okay, cool. Uh, see you later, guys.